solve this boat in half. Some people are mad that I didn't catch the King DDD bamboozle in the King K rule reveal. Look, all the bullshit that Sakurai's put us through, are you really that surprised, dog? Of course it was King K. I wasn't about to be thrown off, nigga. Look, it's far too long that Sakurai's been doing shit like that, man. more than just King K. Rule, we got Simon and Richter Belmont joining in the game. Uh, I know absolutely zero about these niggas. I think this is more of like a kind of classic throwback pick for people like Review Tech USA and old school Nintendo heads. But today, during the Smash Brothers Nintendo Direct, Nintendo dropped a bomb on me that gave me quite a bit of a nerd boner. From what the Direct said, apparently the music is real good, so I'm gonna be probably skimming through a couple of tracks myself. We can't forget my nigga Krom finally made it into the game, something that a lot of us saw coming, especially since Robin wasn't playable at any of the ultimate testing zones or any early access plays. It's also nice to see another villain make the cut. Dark Samus is in the game now. In general, there was just a lot of stuff that was revealed yesterday, but unfortunately not the deep, complex stuff that I was hoping for, like maybe more information about a story mode. I mean, we did get the classic mode thing but nothing about subspace emissary and we didn't really hear too much about how the online modes are going to work either so probably like maybe a month or two before the actual game comes out we'll get that kind of thing. but my nigga 103 stages bro i mean this isn't all new stuff but i mean the fact that it has that much in the first place man did you see what the stage select screen looked like shit looked like a character select screen 800 tracks of music in there over 900 if you count like voice clips and shit Niggers, they can burn in hell. Fuck Rosa Parks, I'll slap that bitch as well. Niggers need to burn, niggers need to learn. Niggers can't pass class. There's apparently mid stage transformations now that can happen, so you can have a legal stage turn into a different legal stage in the middle of the battle. We also got a first look at Final Destination in this game, and it looks fucking incredible with all the damn stalagmites and structures being built all over the place what the fuck is this we also got the training mode confirmed where it shows how far characters get knocked back and other useful data however however the biggest reveal that happened yesterday was actually from Sakurai's footage himself. When he was talking on camera, there were two chairs in the background, one dark purple and one kind of green. What other characters does this mean? And I don't think this is just some baseless theory that people have come up with too. Remember, Luigi, technically speaking, is dead which means that there's room for someone else to come in and take the spot. And yo, Shovel Knight actually confirmed as an assist trophy. This is something that a lot of people are either mad as fuck about or happy as hell to celebrate. Hopefully there's some sort of throw in to Shantae being playable or like an assist trophy. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of like a big hope at this point. But hey, don't, don't, don't lose hope, nigga. They did bring up something new called the um, squad strike mode where it's like some kind of team stuff and you circulate through characters and some are grayed out after you use them. I mean, it looks kind of interesting. But as we all know, Smash Brothers modes, they don't really see too much light of day outside of the um, single 1v1 type shit. And fucking ditto! Bro, this is such a throwback. If some of you guys kept up with Melee stuff back in the day, you would know that in Melee, there is actually data for Ditto as a Pokemon, but it doesn't really do anything. And I think the reason why, don't quote me, was because it was too complex at the time to implement within the game in a reasonable time frame. So they wound up scrapping the idea. But to see the Ditto concept make a return games later, after Melee, after Brawl, after Wii U and 3DS, an ultimate, he actually takes the place of the character who summoned him, I think, or somebody on the field, I don't fucking know, but the fact that you'll have another character running around kicking ass in the image of someone on the stage is crazy to me. So props to Sakurai for getting that shit done. Cannot wait to see Ditto in gameplay. But now, it's time to get to the serious part of the video. There's a few things that happened in the trailer yesterday, which definitely got the curiosity peaked a little bit. The first thing is that nigga Rathalos from Monster Hunter. This dragon comes all in, and he's the first character to act as a stage boss and as an assist trophy at the same time. Something strange is kind of with his stage. If you notice, there's only one character that plays on it at a time, and it looks like a pretty big open area. It almost puts you in mind of something like an adventure mode. 
I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe that's part of the subspace emissary story mode type bullshit. I, hey, at this point, I'm just pulling the straws. But it definitely had a unique vibe to it when you saw this big ass nigga come in this big ass field and nothing else is going on. Not to mention that that stage is nowhere to be found in the stage select, so... Your guess is as good as mine, I suppose. Another weird thing that happened was the hidden mode thing. He showed us finally well, a peak of the actual main game menu. All, everything that we've seen beforehand was just the stage select and the character select, but now we get to see like the options, what's able to be chosen and stuff, and that green mode at the bottom is kind of blurred out, hidden. We don't really know what the hell it's looking like. This wasn't mentioned in the actual direct, but Nintendo's going to have a package where they include the GameCube controller and the GameCube controller adapter with the game as well. Uh, looks pretty cool. I already have a couple of these, though. I don't know if it's going to be something everybody goes for. But there's one thing I got to say to kind of wrap up yesterday. It was a very machismo Nintendo Direct. We didn't really have any waifus coming through. You got Simon Richter, Dark Samus. Does that even count as a woman? Is that a woman? Is there, is there a pair of titties underneath that armor? I'm not trying to ask that in a misogynistic way. I'm just saying. Crom and then King K. Rule. It was a very beefy Smash Brothers Direct. And I think this was sort of intentional. Nintendo knew that they were going to go the badass route with this whole thing. Hence why they killed Luigi. Hence why they're killing all these niggas. Man, the Mario Brothers are technically dead in the Smash Brothers lore, okay? Nintendo with all that man meat coming through. I know damn well that the next Direct, that's where you gotta reveal the baby girls, okay? I'm getting a little bit worried now not too much but i kind of was expecting myth or pyra or some sort of xenoblade chronicles reveal right now i mean but nothing happened i don't know man i'm not gonna get worried i'm just saying you know the next direct nintendo next one with smash brothers they gotta be they, they gotta be a couple curves thrown in there you, you know what i'm saying do you know what i'm saying